Hello and welcome to Enterprise University. In the second part of this exercise, we will learn how to create multiple lead files using the import option in the System Manager module. We are assuming that you have your existing list of leads in other applications and you have exported them into a file. In an Excel spreadsheet, for example, to import, go to the System Manager module and click on the Import menu. The Import Wizard will display. and creating multiple lead records. In the first page of the wizard, we are informed of the type of files that we can import and the limit of records per import. Click Next to go to the next step. First thing we need to do is to create a template. Click on the Create Template button to view the options. For this example, we will create an Excel compatible template and then select the CRM module and the Leads option. The Enterprise Suite Import Wizard spreadsheet will display. This spreadsheet contains the correct headers to use in grouping our import. Take note of the notes text at the bottom. The most important things to note is that we can just copy and place a column header from this template into our own Excel spreadsheet, and that any one of the columns are not required to be filled in. We can use this template as our import file. We just need to remove the notes and fill it in with our lead information. For this exercise, we have created a sample import file using this template. We will begin importing the data by clicking on the ellipsis button inside the source path column. We will open this to show that the import file is Excel compatible. After this, we will select leads as our destination table. This indicates a table inside the database where our imported data will be stored. Click Next to continue. Click Start Import option to start the import procedure. The import wizard will let us know if the import was a success or report any problems in our template that would result in a failed import. Let's click next then finish to close the wizard. Thank you for watching. In the third part of this exercise, we will learn another way of creating new leads using scan leads.